Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. Shalom. We'll give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Bakakadash. Hey, double honors to the Apostle and the Elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation for the hopeful elect Akim that's pushing this word of true Siri. Peace to the elect out there, man. So you see this blood soaked portrait of um <laughs> of this so called um Prince Charles, I believe. I could be mistaken. So called Prince. You know what I'm saying? And it's a blood soaked blood soaked portrait. And you know, if you look deeper into it, you see the Adronidus demon, Baphomet, right there. Okay? Telling you and showing you right in your front of your face to the simpletons out there who believe Esau is the so-called black man with red hair. No, Esau is the so-called white man. Okay? Eat him. All right? And it's showing right in front of your face who he, who he really is. According to the scripture, it says um, in the Obadiah, right? How, how, um, I forgot, I'm just roughly paraphrasing. It's in the Obadiah. How is the, Esau's hidden things um searched out. You know what I'm saying? Through the net. Through the internet, man. Everybody's starting to see who this man really is, man. Except for our people. Alright? So this is um Psalm 19. Let me get to the point. Alright? Verse 2. They unto they day unto day utter a speech, and night unto night show of knowledge. Because 24-7. We expose him through the spirit of Yahweh Bashmashai. We expose him Esau Edom, who he really is, and his power structure, and we chanting down Babylon the Great, aka America. Okay? And for the coming of of our big brother Yahweh Bashem Yahweh our Lord, you know, to take this man down, to take this man and his power system down. Okay? For the coming of the kingdom. So that's why we Weekend, week out, day in and day out, having these videos up with information about this man and his crimes. Okay? So we're telling it to his face via the internet. Okay, let's read. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. So throughout the four corners of the earth, um, when you go to the book of Matthews, it says when the when the when this Doctrine is preached throughout throughout the whole earth to, uh, unto every nation. Then shall I come, and it's happening. Because this word, this doctrine of Yahweh Bashem Hashai, which is taught a hundred percent, all right, to warn our people, to show them, um, to warn our, our people about prophecy, to teach them about history, to teach them the names of the Father and Son Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know they're starting to know this truth throughout the four corners of the earth. Different languages. You got Spanish speaking camps. You got brothers over there in um Suriname. You got brothers over there in the UK. You got brothers over there in Tanzania, Australia, and, and so on, so on forth, man. Okay? Alright? Teaching his word. Alright? Teaching his word and exposing these devils. The so called white man, Esau Edom. Okay? And he ain't that why the reason why we say so called white because he's really red, as you can see through that red soaked picture, because that's what Eden means. Adawam meaning red. Okay? It's not a so called black man with red hair. I heard that doctrine before. Okay? So let's read. Day unto day the other speech, and night unto night show of knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Our voice is always heard through YouTube and through other platforms. Okay? Their line has gone out through all the earth. Okay? It's talking about the internet. All right? And their words to the end of the world. And their words to the end of the world. In them he has set a tabernacle for the sun. So we... Could the Lord <clears throat> use the device, the internet, to show forth, to bring forth all the knowledge out throughout the whole earth, man? And it's been happening. 
okay? We revealing who this devil is, man. Okay, so let's get this real quick. Let me get this one real quick. And Obadiah, because since I um, since I um, roughly paraphrased, I just want to get out. I don't want to butcher up the scriptures. Okay, I like to edify and read it. All right. So here we go. This is um, Obadiah one verse six. How are the things of Esau searched out? Searched out. How are his hidden things sought up? Is being exposed through the internet, okay, through countless books, because decades and decades ago, the the apostles and the elders, the high priest, you know, they had books, countless books, revealing who who the enemy is. So um, Esau eat them, okay. They have countless books now. Those books is like is is like expensive, man, to get, okay. And throughout time, throughout the time, the internet opened up. And the teachings was out through the internet. And on top of that, throughout time, even latest right now with Vladimir Putin unlocking the black Russian icons. Showing to what? Showing that we're people of color. The Israelites. You so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans, man. See right here, this Prince Charles um, portrait is revealing who your enemy is, man. But, you know, you got your boot-licking Sambos out there and your boot-licking Esau-loving Latinos out there worshiping this type, worshiping these people, man. Okay? These people want to kill you, man. See, Prince Charles is one of the elites, man. He's, he, he's, he's related. Bloodline. Okay? But he's going to go to slavery, too. All right? That's their destiny. All right? So, let's get another scripture. All right? And well, I'll go end it with two scriptures, okay? This is beautiful because, look, man, you think the Lord is doing this, man. The Lord is revealing who this, who these people are. Time after time, he keeps doing it, man, all right? Because our people are just really simple, simple to the core, man, okay? It's like each generation, they just get dumber and dumber, all right? So this is... um. Second Thessalonians two verse three, let man no let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. So what's that falling away? Well, it's what happened when our people fell from the knowledge of Yahweh Bashmi Yashah. They fell from their from their um heritage. Okay, they fell from knowing the name of the Father and His Son. His ways, law, statute, commandments, they just turned into pure Gentiles, man. Worshiping other people's gods and they just fell away. So in 70 AD, the Lord kicked us out of Israel, man. And the heathens took over. And then we were spread, spread out through the four corners of the earth via slavery too. Okay? And we came to America not knowing nothing. All right? So that was our falling away. All right? So let no man deceive you, man. Don't let none of these false teachers who come at you come come at you with these false history claims, this and that, and you know, don't no. Follow what the scriptures say. All right? Let's read. Um, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin, who's the man of sin? It's talking about Esau Edom. Be revealed. Look at look look what's in the middle. If you put those two portraits together, look what's in the middle. Baphomet. These people worship Satan, man. Okay? All right? And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, the son of destruction. Okay? People, you have to understand, well, why God would do this? Why God have these people? Well, because the earth was given to the hand of the wicked. Read Job 9 and 24. You know what? Let me get that. And I'm going to end it with that. Okay? Because if you understand history, a lot of these Christians don't know history. What, what's what, what uh, what's a lick at all? Not a lick of history they understand. Because this word was not given to these dummies over there in the church, man. Okay. All right. So this is Job nine twenty four, and I guarantee you they can't even break down Job nine twenty four. If it was given to the hand of the wicked, how? 
Well, you have to read the scriptures to understand how it happened. Okay? Because it's all part of prophecy. All right? So this is Job 9 and 24. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? You're looking at him right now. You're looking at this race of people, the Caucasian race, the race of Esau, Edom, the Edomites. Okay? Edom means red. It's funny how this blood-soaked picture is red. It's revealing who they are, man. You know, the old serpent, the red dragon. Put it together, people. You know, but we understand, man. You know, um, this word is only given to the elect and Lord willing word that hopeful elect that will make it out of here. So when I read Job 9 and 24, you have to know the history. The earth was given to the hand of the wicked. The wicked is the so-called white man, Esau, Edom. All right. If you want to know how he got it, you got to read the blessings of Esau. It goes down to the to the main, two main characters, Jacob and Esau. You have to look up. You can find that in Genesis, the 27th chapter, verse 38. It tells you the blessing of Esau, that he was going to inherit the fatness of the earth and he will rule by the sword. What's the sword? His military, his lies, his pseudoscience, etc. His education system, his, rel his religious churches out there, his science, his, his um, science laboratories and so much. He has complete control of the earth, man. And through his might. Just put it together, man. Okay? So, this picture is just letting you know who this man really is, man. How's the hidden things searched out? Well, through the internet. You have Google on the tip of your fingers on your phone. Your eyes is always on your phone every eight seconds to nine seconds. You're going to search something up. So, with that, another video. Shalom.